I'm in the process of working on an in-depth tutorial for working with macros and the macro toolbar within Studio One. And I just thought I would go ahead and leak one little tip from that tutorial and share with you guys and how we can go about quickly renaming a group of events uh, in a more quick way than doing it one at a time. This is going to be useful for those of you who do a lot of mixing or if you're OCD like myself and really like to have everything organized. Now, as we can see here, I have several uh, different tracks here, a, a group of audio tracks. And then at the bottom, I have a instrument track, which has an impact on it. And you can see I just double clicked to add these empty events and they have taken the name on of whatever the track was listed as in the track column. And we can see an example of that here at this uh, track at the very top. If I go ahead and double click to add an empty event, we can see that it then takes on the name that's listed here. Now, if I delete that out and press R to record this, this for uh, or to arm this for recording and then go ahead, press the asterisk and then begin recording. We can see that this one then has tra taken on the track 1-1. One -one. I'm going to go ahead and just delete that out. I'll add an empty event. Press R to disarm that. But oftentimes we want to make changes when we're working on a mix or our track. If I double click here and then just call this track, or let's just say Vox1, then we can see that this event isn't updated. And if I change the name here, we can see that all three of these do not update. And typically what we would do is come in, we would right click on the event that we'd like to change the name, double click here, and then we can rename it whatever we'd like. But what if you have tons of tracks and tons of events that you'd like to change in a more quick way? we can open up the macro panel by clicking on this icon here. And then over to the left, we have name here. So the first thing that we'd want to do is select the events that we'd like to rename. So I'll go ahead and just select all three of these, click on name. I'm going to change this to background harmony one. And we can see that now those have been updated. And we can do this for events on different tracks as well. If I select these two at the bottom, come up to name, then we can just say, change that to electric guitar. We can see that those have been updated. Now, if we just have a track that has one event on, we could just right click and uh, just change it like so. That may be even quicker than using the macro panel up above. And this method is going to work for our instrument tracks or instrument events as well. So here we've got our impact empty MIDI event. And if I go ahead and select that and come to name and do we have a drums here? Yes. So stereo drums and we can see that that's updated. So taking a closer look at this name and what we have available, we can see the different groups here, markers, vocals, takes, drums, but we do have some flexibility in what we can choose in that we can create our own names here as well. If we have our own naming scheme that we'd like to use, what we would want to do is come to the wrench icon here. Just click once on that. And then we can come to edit names and we're going to get a notepad or a text document that opens up. Notice here the syntax. We have our groups that begin with an asterisk, markers, vocals. And if I scroll down, we can see those different categories when I uh, open up that drop down menu. So if I come up to the markers here, I'm going to come to the very bottom, put the uh, cursor there, press enter. I'm going to tab once and then I'll put test in here. And then I'm going to come to file, save, go ahead and close this out. And there is an additional step that we need to take because if I come to name markers where I put that test at, we can see that it doesn't show up. So we do need to come back to the wrench icon click on the reload names. And then now at this point, I'll select this main box, come back up to name. We put our test in markers. We can see that it's here. I'll click once. And now our event has changed. And again, if we're just doing one event, then this probably wouldn't make that much sense. But again, if we have a group, 
that we can select all of those, come to our markers, click test, and now they've all been updated. Again, this is going to be useful for if you're doing a lot of mixing and really like to have your mixed projects organized. And uh, this is just a taste of what's to come for the macro tool panel here. We're going to go in depth in that. That should be up within the next couple of days over the weekend sometime. And we'll leave off here then. Thanks.